Hoje temos o Marcelo, bem-vindo, Marcelo. A palavra é sua. Muito obrigado por estar aqui. We do in English, right? Okay. So, yeah, let's do our initial prayer. So, let's thank our Master Jesus for the opportunity to be here today, for the blessing of this moment that we gather here together with the sincere desire to learn a little bit more about Jesus' gospel, about the spiritual doctrine that has been so important for us in our journey here on earth. Master Jesus, we ask you to conduct our thoughts so that we can reflect on this important topic of patience, that we can reflect our own actions, and that we can get here with the help of the good spirits, all the tools, all the that we need for our inner reform so that we can develop this virtual within our hearts. We ask you to, to guide us and to show us our imperfections where we need to work and how we can use this virtual pit of patience to develop all the other virtues as taught in your gospel. We ask that the good spirits, they can protect our environment and they can inspire us in this reflection. May your peace be with us today and always, so be it. Good evening, everyone. Um, first of all, I would like to thank um, for the invitation to be here. Um, thank you, Ana, for for giving me the opportunity. It's always good for us to, to be together, even though we are uh, distant, uh, but we are connected at this moment, right, with this purpose of learning. Um, and today, um, I'm gonna talk about um, patience. And, and the message is from the, the, from the book, uh, Living Springs, um, chapter 129. And the title is, Be Patient. I'm going to read the message and then we go um, and do a reflection on, on the topic. Be patient. You need patience so that after you have done God's will, you may receive the promise. Paul, uh, Hebrews uh, 10, 36. You have probably been holding on to tormented hope for a long time. You would like the world the world's answer to your longings to appear immediately, enfolding your heart. However, what kind of peace would you enjoy in the apparent triumph of your dreams if you had not redeemed the debt that chain you to problems and difficulties? How can you have a moment's rest when your creditor is demanding payment? Could a criminal find rest in light of due reparation for the crime he or she has committed? You know that destiny will materialize your plans for happiness, that victory will finally crown your pathway of struggle, but you find yourself bound to the circle of certain obligations. Your home, which has become a fort of anguish, your workplace, where you suffer slander or cruelty, the family member to whom you owe respect and love, but from whom you receive scorn and ingratitude. The web of obstacles, the conspiracy of the darkness, needless persecution, the infirmity of the body, the impositions of your environment. If trials have imprisoned you behind the restraining bars of a duty you have to fulfill, be patient and satisfy the obligations you have embraced. Do not, do not renounce your renewed endeavor. Remember that God's will is expressed each hour in the circumstances that surround, that surround us. Let us pay our debts to the darkness so that the light may bless us. Yes, 
we will accomplish the materialization of our plans for happiness. But before that, we must patiently liquidate the debts we have contracted before the law. It's uh, Francisco Sancando Xavier, it's by the Spirit of Emmanuel, right? The Living Spring is the book. Again, chapter 129. So it's so enlightening to, to hear those words from, from Emmanuel, right? And, and this topic of patience is so, so important for us. Um, we are living a moment of transition in our planet. So we are all aware that our beloved planet is going through a transformation from a world of trial and expiations to a world of regeneration. And we are still like on, on a moment of crisis where the new road has not been established, but we are like in the process of transition. A lot of things are happening that are changing, right? And then it's so important for us to keep our serenity, our patience to this moment, right? And, and, I, and, and I think here, uh, Emmanuel in this message, he, he shows us all the obstacles that we have. And of course, I'm bringing up the moment of crisis, but we have different aspects of difficulties that we live. We have difficulties in our work, in our family, with the family member, right? We have like economic, economic challenges, you know? We have health issues, all of those things, it's expressed in this little message. And then we start to think we need to persevere and we need to keep this virtual in our hearts, the virtual of patience. And of course, we have a lot of tools that we can use to achieve that. And we are so blessed to have the teachings of Jesus and in light of the Spiritus Doctrine, because that is our guide, that is our, um, we could say, our support so that we can have the strength, right, to, to develop these patients, but at the same time to work towards our spiritual progress. And we will see that uh, uh, the patience is, is so like connected with other virtues that is, it's so interesting when we start to, to analyze uh, its importance. So, so we could say that our goal here is in this brief uh, study is to just like to understand, to develop more patience and serenity every day. How can we do that? How to conserve our serenity, serenity in whatever circumstance? We are not pure spirits. The pure spirits, they can keep the patient and serenity all the time. We are still a spirit, the spirits that are in the process of evolution, right? So, but we can achieve that state. And, and the more we put in practice the virtues, the more we are walking or like the more we are going towards that goal of being a pure spirit, right? And then the patience is, is the foundation for the other virtues, we could say. And why? It's because when, whenever we strive to acquire a virtue, sometimes we ourselves see our limitations, right? And then we need to be patient. But at the same time, it's not that patience that you are lazy, you know, like, oh, I cannot do this. This is not for me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm like this. I'm not going to work this, right? This is not patient. This is like you're not doing any effort to change. Like whenever we think about that, we're not doing any effort. We need to have that dynamic resignation in, in the sense that whenever we identify something that is not the way we think it should be, we need to be patient, but at the same time, we need to do whatever we can to surpass that. And, and a simple example of that is, for example, when, when we get sick, right? When we get sick, we, it's a reflection of something that is not going well with us, right? Sometimes it originating from our spirit, but it's a moment for us to stop, right? But at the same time, okay, you have to be patient, but I need to do something. What is in my reach that I can do to, to change that so that I can, again, gain 
my, my healthy uh, condition, right? And then, of course, that this is like a dynamic resignation. We always do that. Like we, we, but some people get sick and they, at the same time, they're so like angry, right? And then like start to like explode with any, anybody close to them, right? And then that's again, like it's expression of something that is a disharmony, inter, internal disharmony, right? That is only exacerbating any, any state of disease. Right, so so you can see that in any any small things in, in, that we live, we can see the importance of this this virtual, and that's why uh, our master Jesus he said, "By your patience, endurance, you gain your souls." In other words, it is in your patience that you will win, that you will win your souls. Um, it's interesting because it, it, the word patience, endurance, it's like we are like in a process of stressing out that virtual, right? It's like an endurance. It's something that we have to persevere. And sometimes even the translation for this is a perseverance, a pers a perseverance, right? Perseverance. Um, um, it's like you have to persevere, right? So it's, they are kind of synonymous in this, in this sense, right? It's like Patience, we need to be patient, but at the same time, we need to persevere on that goal of achieving that. And, that, and that's what our master said, by, by your patient endurance, you will gain your souls, right? So, so in other words, patience is an important ingredient for us to conquer ourselves. So we have been studying spiritism and we see that in question 919, St. Augustine say that self-knowledge is so important for us to analyze our mistakes and to identify the areas in our, uh, in our soul, in our spirit that we need to improve, right? Again, that's what Jesus said, like by your patience, endurance, like we are persevering that purpose. So, so patience is a, is a very key for, for self-knowledge. Uh, there is also another passage from Emmanuel that he, he, he says that uh, patience is the stamp of peace. Like, like the, it's a stamp of peace is patience. Um, in, another, in, in another book, he also mentions that uh, in the pharmacy of life, patience is the medicine of peace. Those words are so profound, right? Like every one of us, we're looking for peace. And, and especially like in these challenging times where we're having like so many conflicts in our beloved world, um, we should use patient like for, as a medicine for us to keep peace because it's very important for us to keep that state um, even though we are going through all those difficulties. Um, and again, the world has its difficulties, but we also have like our daily lives struggles, difficulties, as I mentioned before, right? And, and again, the key for us to have a good guidance in those situations is self-knowledge. And, and we can only acquire, and that's why the inner reform is, is a work that is, uh, every one of us are responsible for doing. No, nobody can do that for us. This work of self-improvement and self-knowledge is something that we should always strive to do and that will help us to achieve this uh, peace that we all and of course our spiritual progress right um, another important ingredient that uh, when we think about uh, patience is that patience give us the ability to know how to wait right so and, that, and that's very important, right? Because like there are so many examples in nature itself that like you have the different seasons, you have like different times that are so important for keeping the harmony of our planet. Um, and then the patience is, is also something that uh, it's an ability for us to know how to wait. Um, and another, another aspect that is also so connected is, is that we know how to wait, but at the same time, we know how to deal with, to deal with and to value time, which 
time by 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 the way it's it's a it's a a good thing that we have right it's like a uh, it's a hidden talisman um uh, there is this passage uh, on the book uh, jesus in the home where the disciples they asked jesus if he had a, a talisman that they could use to achieve the kingdom that jesus was preaching right like was there any like talisman that they could use to like quickly achieve that um, and then Jesus said, yes, there is. And he said that there was a special talisman, um, the talisman of time. And this message in that book, it's called the hidden talisman. And, and so we have this at our reach, like everybody, every one of us have time. And, and what use have we been doing of our time, right? So again, like patience, use of time, and know how to wait. So certain things will get will, will require time. Um, and there are so many examples where we fail to do so. For example, um, I might be like uh, wanting to buy something like a big house or something. And then in order to do that, I, I work almost 24 hours, 24 like, or I have like very little rest and I stress myself, right? So. Is that the correct way of doing that? Like you, you might have some, some uh, noble goals of having a family, living in a house, right? And uh, you, we, we all have material needs, right? We need to achieve those. But the way we get is through patience and know how to wait, know how to, to sow the seed, right? Sometimes the work itself requires time to be um, done properly, right? To, to accomplish things. And, and also like we need to, to preserve our health, right? What, what as uh, Jesus said, uh, what is the, so we can win the world, but lose ourselves, right? Like, like, like what's the purpose of, of this? So, so we need, of course, to achieve our progress. Like even in terms of our progress, we need to achieve that, but in a way that is, sustainable, which is like according to the laws of God. Um, and then patience, it's, it's a very important ingredient on that. Um, Emmanuel also says that in order to persevere on our own, uh, to preserve our own peace, it's essential that we are willing to pay careful attention to ourselves. Um, we could also translate that, that we are willing to pay judicious attention to ourselves. And, and this is, again, like, it's the same message that we have um, from the gospel, right? The gospel says, pray and be vigilant, right? So we need to be in that constant state of vigilance um, in our actions, what happens around us, because what happens is because in many cases, people don't have self-knowledge they don't, they are not vigilant. And then when that, whatever things happen, they, instead of acting patiently, right? Like what happens is that you act by impulse. So you sometimes you say some word that might harm someone, you may act or like you can even create a, a, like physical, uh, like you can create, like you can awaken in, in someone the desire to do physical harm to you, right? Like we have seen those cases. Like I, I was talking to my wife the other day and said, wow, we, we stayed for a long time without driving the car that much, right? And nowadays things are going back to normal and we can see that how people are so aggressive in the traffic. And then I, I, I told her, I'm, I'm even like careful because like if you get involved in any any accident like we need to be careful because the persons are so like irritated right and we need to like be careful in those situations to be like right to be careful and of course to how to talk to the person like even if you if the other person is wrong um, we need to be patient right it's a, it's so, so simple and and i was impressed and i told her like how many uh, um, shootings happen in traffic Right, it's 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 uh, it's impressive, like how those things uh, happen, right? And and again, like it's because the situation, right, that happened, and people are not vigilant, and 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 say things in a way that uh, 
can awaken the evil on other people. Like it's like what you say, you're responsible, of course. Like if you say something that is is a mental uh, aggression to the other person, and that person can revive, right? It can act back to you. So we need to be vigilant, but we need to pray and be vigilant. And of course, this is all related to our process of self-knowledge and of reflection, right? That's why I said in the beginning, patience is like uh, one of the bases for the other virtues, right? And we have to work. Um, and Jesus said that we should love God, our neighbors, and ourselves. And sometimes we are practicing or we're we striving to acquire a virtue, and we sometimes fail. And then that failure, it, it, when it happens, we need to use the self-knowledge, right? The, the recommendation from St. Augustine, and then analyze what, what made me fail, right? So it's an inner process, right? Like, what should I do next? Why am I reacting so angrily for this situation? What is causing that? And then again, it's, it's a process that we all have to work, be patient, and of course, to use the, the self-love, right? I, I want to change that. I have to forgive myself. I failed, but I can make it right. 